friends, it's Ashley with Crafty as a Mother. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a center pole yarn ball or a yarn cake as some people like to call them. Um, you don't need any special tools. All you need are your hands or you can use a um, toilet paper roll to help you as well. So I'm going to grab this light blue ball of yarn that I have that's kind of shrunk in size and it's starting to get a little tangled as I pull through the center of this ball. So I'm going to be working on making that blue ball of yarn into a center pull like this yellow one. So to get started, I'm going to pull out some of my yarn from the center or what was the center pull of this ball of yarn. And I'm going to leave myself a long tail and hold it in my hand just like this and put it between my finger and middle finger and leave that dangling down. Now I'm going to pinch my pointer finger and thumb, or not pinch them, keep them wide open and start twirling your yarn or wrapping your yarn around your thumb and pointer finger. And remember to keep your fingers spread apart as much as you can because this will create a hole for your thumb to go into and you don't want that hole to be too tight. So keep wrapping it around as many times as you'd like to get a nice good base. Then we're going to slide our finger out and leave it on our thumb. Leave that um, tail dangling down and you can hold it down with your other fingers. So what we're going to do is wrap our yarn sort of at an angle up over what we started. Get some more yarn out. Keep it nice and loose. You don't want this too tight. And wrap it from under and then up to the side of your thumb. And your pointer finger is just going to help guide that yarn and sort of spin it around your thumb if that makes sense i'm hoping i'm making sense <laughs> so you're just going to lay your yarn right next to that previous wrapped yarn going at an angle and you're going from bottom to top i would say at about a 45 degree angle and you're just going to keep continuing to wrap your yarn around your thumb at an angle and keep slowly turning that ball of yarn. If you're more comfortable with wrapping your yarn towards yourself instead of like I am, I'm wrapping away from myself, you can certainly do it that way as well. This shouldn't be super tight on your thumb although it will start to get a little snug, but your thumb shouldn't be turning any different color, black, blue, purple, feeling like it's gonna fall off. Um, if that's the case, you might want to start over and um, just keep everything nice and loose um, when you first start. So you're just going to keep slowly wrapping that yarn around your ball, making sure you keep your tail away from um, the wrapping of your yarn you don't want to accidentally wrap your tail up in the ball um, because that is going to be your center pole um, a lot of people will use um, a toilet paper roll as well um, if they don't want to use their thumb or they're worried about putting the yarn on their thumb too tight you can use a toilet paper roll as well it's pretty much the same concept so what you'll do is put the tail in the middle of your toilet paper roll and just continue to wrap it around the toilet paper just like I am with my thumb. So it's the same concept, just not using your thumb, you're using a toilet paper roll instead. So this is pretty much all you do. Just make sure you pull your yarn out from your previous ball and keep everything nice and loose and keep going in that same 45 degree angle around your thumb. I'm going to speed up the video and show you how to take it off your thumb.
So I'm on my last little bit here. Finishing up, you can see that the tip of my thumb is almost disappeared and my hole is getting a little smaller. That's okay if your thumb does get covered, just make sure you still have that hole. So now what I like to do with that tail is I just tuck it underneath a couple strands from the outside of my ball just to keep it out of the way. And then you can just simply take your thumb or slide your thumb slowly and carefully out of that hole. And I'm tucking my tail through those strands. And there you have your perfect center pole yarn ball or yarn cake. I hope this tutorial helps you in staying organized and I just love this technique because if I were to just roll these up in a simple ball, um, the ball of yarn would be rolling all over the place and I'd have to chase after it. Um, doing it this way is very helpful. The center pole keeps your ball in one spot as you work up your projects and it's very helpful when that, when that happens. Um, so I learned this technique from my great grandmother and always think of her when I'm doing them. So I am happy to pass it along to you. Um, I hope it helps. Leave me a like, um, comment if you need any help or have questions. Thanks for watching.